In this equation, we have IF and it decomposes into I2 plus IF5. So let's balance the equation. We'll start by counting the atoms up on each side. So on the reactant side, we have one iodine and one fluorine. On the product side, we have the two iodine. But be careful here because we have another one out here. Don't forget that. And that'll give us three iodine atoms and then five of the fluorine atoms. I think what I'll do with this is I'm going to put a five in front of the iodine monofluoride. That way I'd have one times five and that would balance the fluorines and then one times five and that would give me five iodine atoms. But since I have iodine here and here, I've got two different options on what I can change to balance the equation. Since I need five, I think if I put a two in front of the I2, two times two is four plus one, that gives me five. So let's update this number here. And now we have two times two, that's four, plus we have the one right here, that gives us five, and we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for the decomposition of IF, and that gives you that I2 iodine gas plus iodine pentafluoride, IF5. Thanks for watching.